So let's go back to uh, collect data here. This is where we are collecting our user data. So all this is fine. But when we get to this point here, instead of doing this, we're just going to, um, wait a minute, why did we even do this anyway? If we're going to not even use it. So that is completely unnecessary. So we are not actually using it, so delete. So right here, I will create my form data. So what I will say is, form data is equal to new form data. So we're pretending we had a form. So form data dot. So keep in mind, this is just a variable. It can be something like a, it still makes sense. So, so maybe we can just call it data just to simplify. So I'll say data.append, this is where we are pending now. Now exactly what I did here, I can do here instead. So a description, let's move that bad boy there, put a comma, and then let's move the actual value over there. So this is exactly what we need to do. So one, two, three, four, and I'll just do two, three, four. And so I just need to remove these guys over there. Data type. Add product as a... Okay. Like so. Boom. Quantity. Okay, so this one goes uh, there, category and price. And finally, price. Okay, so we don't need this one anymore. We're going to send the data here, but it's a data, not form data, like that. So data, send data files. Okay. So what we've done here is we haven't really changed anything. We haven't added uh, anything new, but if I go back now to the Ajax product and I try to retrieve this information, let's see what happens. So I'll refresh this, click add, add some gibberish over here, uh, add some prices, uh, and then I will hit save. So you will notice now that uh, the post variable contains some data over here because we are pretending to be a form. So at least I get some data like that. But I want to be able to send files as well and files will live in here. So let's try that as well. Now, this would be easy because we just need to find the image item. So I'm just going to duplicate this last one here and I'll, ex I'll change everything that has uh, price with image. So image input, image, image input, value. Okay. So now the difference here with these other uh, inputs is that the image input doesn't have a value. It's got a, an attribute called files instead of value. So we just have to check. Now the files is an, actually an array. So if I say if image.files, like so, dot length, like that. If the length is equal to zero, then uh, we have no file in there. That's how you know if there's a file. Please enter a valid image. Let's say main image, something like this. So let's come back here and give it another shot. So I will click on add, type some stuff, and then finally do not add something there. So I'll click and you'll say, please enter a valid image. And then if I do enter a valid image, 
and uh, hit save. Oh, actually, nothing will work there because we haven't actually added this image to our list. So, what I will do instead is I will say image one here, or just the image. So for the image, I will add the same image input to the files, but I don't want all the files because it's possible to add more than one. I just want the first one. So since it's an array, like I said, you can select the very first one like that. And that should be enough. So let's refresh and let's uh, do this again. Okay, so let's now select an image. But first of all, if we don't select an image, we get a warning. And then if we do, hit save. Uh, you can see now that um, there's, um, there's our information there, but also inside files, there's one called image, and then there's an image there. So this is usually the same as a normal form. So this is good. Now we can come back to the other side and uh, do what we want. Now, we have the other optional images, of course, that will make four images. So let's just put them here temporarily, okay? So, but let's put an if statement instead. So I want to know which image is actually set at what time. So let me uh, duplicate this. Like so. So that's the first image. This is the second image. So I'll just say image to exists is equal to false, right? So let's start by assuming image two does not exist. So everywhere where there's image here, I want to add a two at the very end. something like that okay so please enter a valid image 2 okay if uh, image 2 is equal to 0 but the thing is we shouldn't warn people of this because this is optional okay so what we would do instead is we'll say if image 2 dot length is greater than 0 what we want to do is change the state of this one oh copy it, don't uh, delete, then we don't return, we just uh, take note that there's a file in there. Just change that to true. So let's duplicate like so, and then uh, change the numbers of course. Three, and of course four like at this so now at this point i know uh if this exists now then i can put if statements here to say okay if it exists uh, then add this and add that but a better approach could be because here if we are doing it this way i'll then come here and say uh, i'll duplicate this and then i'll come here and say if If image four exists like this, and then I'll put image four input files like that. This will be my if statement like that. And then this will exist now. I'll put uh, image four there like this. So this works. This is exactly what we're going to do, but we're not going to do it this way because like this, we will need more code. So there's a way we can remove all this code here and not need to do this. So we can do that by just getting this item number four and putting it here like that. Then I can do the same thing for number three. Just remember to change those. And number two. Then I don't need these guys anymore. And then I will need to move this guy up to make sure that uh, by the time we start adding, appending 
we already declared it. So here we'll say create a form like so. Very good. Okay, so so far we don't need this part right here. We can go straight to sending. So on the other side, all we need to do is check for if any of these actually exist, and then we are good to go. But image one must exist all the time. So let me come back here to Ajax product. Let's give it a try before we go that far. Refresh. Let's add new. And then let's not add anything. So let's click save, warning. Let's add the first one. And if we click send, uh, we do get a send, but we can add more than one file. And hit send. And as you can see, there is more than one file. So there's image two, there's image three, there's image four, and then there's image like that. So all of them are being sent. And so that's what we're going to in the next video we're going to deal with actually uploading those files which is rather easy because we've done it so many times all right so i'll see you in my next video